Hello, this short video will cover the export from Business Center to SES 900. The Business Center project already contains the design, the OGL and control data. To start the export process we create a job site called SES 900 export and assign this to the controllers that we want to send the information to and any machines. Our job site contains the GPS site calibration we imported earlier and also the feature code library. To this we can add a CSV list of control points so that we can set up our total station in the field or check the GPS. We could also add a site map for DXF visualization on the controller and in an avoidance zone. Secondly, we create our design model. and also assign this to the controller. Our job site design contains the 3D surface information. So if this was a normal surface like the OGL, this would be exported as a TTM. For a road surface as we're exporting here, this will go out as a PRO file so that it contains chainage and offset information on the controller. We could also add a CSV list of set out points and what we're going to do is add in a DXF line work map so that we can stake out information from the DXF and also have a visual indication of where things are. Finally, we're going to create a work order. The work order contains our design information. So we select the design model that we created earlier. Here we can apply our tolerances to check that things are uh, constructed correctly. And we can also issue some instructions to the surveyor so that they know what work they are doing in the field. If I view this information, here we see what the surveyor will see on their controller. What this has done is export these files to our controller. So on our C drive, we can then find the site we've created. In here we have the CSV file of control points and our GPS site calibration. And then we have our design model and the DXF file. The benefits of using the field data workflow is that if there are any changes to our design and business center, then these will be highlighted so you can maintain file control over the files being written to the controller in the field. To transfer this information to our controller, we simply plug our TSC3 into our computer and transfer the files or we could use the Trimble Connector community to transfer these wirelessly to the field. Thank you.